Well, hey guys, it's Spiffy Guy. We're out here with another adventure. This probably doesn't look familiar because it's new. Yes, we go to new places, new and exciting places. This is the uh, the Round Spring Campground, which is down uh, just by Eminence, Missouri. And uh, we're surrounded by crows. They're everywhere. It's a bit foggy this morning, a little chilly. And uh, I'm here with XC down there and we're doing something uh, pretty special on this one we're uh we're looking for section 14 of the ozark trail it's a uh it's a section that has been laid out but has never been built so we're gonna brave the fog and the murderous crows and go find this thing this is round spring imagine that it's round All right, so the, through the use of modern technology and a GPS, we are marking where the trail should be. And so this is your first junction point. Look at that beautiful rock. Nobody has ever seen this. You will see this when you come and hike the round spring section, brought to you by XC and his fancy new day pack. So we're just kind of following the old route. We're looking for old flagging. Um, Years folks can figure there hasn't been anybody really walking this section since about probably about 2008 or so so we're kind of figuring it out as we go but it's a beautiful day and this is going to be an awesome section this may rival may may rival my current favorite the current river we shall see once it's all done but onward All right, so slow going here. We are um, we're following old GPS tracks and old flags. And you can see we've got some new flags in here. This is one awesome little feature. You've got this sort of water uh, spout. I'm sure this will get a lot of water when it rains. And it rolls right down through this little sort of draw down towards the current. And XE made an excursion down there to look for water. You also have got this little draw part up here that'll empty out into here as well. So we're trying to decipher these old tracks. This is an example of some of the old tape that we're looking for. So it makes it a little hard to find because this has no color. The color is all faded off. But uh, some of the original tape brought you straight down this hill while the GPS track brought you along and sort of switchbacks down to where we're at. So there's gonna be multiple passes that we'll make on this. Uh, we're, we're rolling through here, hoping to get the loop done, um, which it's gonna have a two mile loop. Uh, I think it's about two miles. And then we'll come back again with uh, some of our construction managers and put in a little bit more uh, finesse on it. And that way we can start doing this. We're gonna hit this hard and heavy next year. So be sure to check the events page we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of events down here. We're hoping for uh, multiple megas down here, and that Round Spring Campground is real nice. Um, nobody's there right now either, which is super awesome. And uh, so we're just uh, gonna figure out where the flags are on this side. I just think they go off that direction. This is exciting stuff. This is the birth of of a new trail, a new section, and. Uh, Get involved because this stuff is a lot of fun all right guys so we've been at it it's like 1 30 we're kind of smelly we've hit the junction point this is a junction point you don't know that yet but it's a junction point there's a little creek and possibly a waterfall up there we don't know it's not really wet but uh awesome rocks awesome rocks we're gonna uh we're gonna mark it going back see how far we have and uh go from there there's XC the man a few words with his current river creek water spring water there you go from blue spring which is uh just alley spring, alley spring. oh my goodness Wait, no no 
Round spring. Round spring, yes. So you know that you're a professional hiker when you can walk and filter water at the same time. This is what experience teaches you. And look at this filter. So this is a regular Sawyer and you have an adapter on there? Yeah. There's an adapter. There you go. We'll check that out later. Right now, that damn turkey vulture's back. Just trying to get... All right, so here's an update. We drove up to Echo Bluff State Park, which is about two or three miles up Highway 19 towards Salem. They have internet. We, uh, we stole some Wi-Fi. Although I did buy some alcohol, so that was nice. This place is super, super fancy. They have a hiking trail that's, that's got a red blaze on it. But we were thinking more that these, these wonderful sidewalks down here, you could through rollerblade. I think that's something that we should set up. So a through rollerblade of Echo Bluff would be uh, pretty awesome. Throwing it to d -Lo. Yeah, there you go. We'll tell the trail show to uh, come out. We're going to, we'll get Anish to do it. She can come up with the FKT on it and then we'll that's go from normal. there. I mean, it's more of an urban, urban through hike. Yeah, that would probably be snorkel. There you go. So this is Echo Bluff. They got a nice overview and it's kind of fancy. I have this, uh, this hat. You like my hat? This is the don't shoot me. I'm not a deer hat. And, uh, I think I looked a little bit out of place in this fancy, 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 uh, lodge. Right this thing is terrifying. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is the MSR whisper death trap. <laughs> I don't know. This is white gas. That sounds too scary for me. <laughs> We're using a, a fire over here as well. Lexi just made hot dogs of some sort. Right on the grill. Oh, fancy. What was the timing on that? We're having grilled chicken and sausage and some bannock. Holy crap, look at that go. And we made this awesome. Look at this. Look at the <laughs> green work in this thing. This is fantastic. This is a, uh, a red wood or red bud, a um, red bud spatula. There you go. Look at that fantastically carved with the uh, condor bushler. Oh, come on. Holy moly. All right, so epic fail with the Snow Peak 900 skillet pan. It was, uh, it was doing all right. It got a little burned on the bottom, and then I was trying to flip it and the whole thing flipped the handle failed and the whole thing jumped on the ground so not only do i not have bannock and i'm hungry but i'm upset with snow peak you owe me bannock uh, snow peak i will take a um, cheeseburger instead if you could have it airdropped that would be nice well it is morning time on day two of the adventure we picked up one more with us. We still have firewood left, so obviously our fire wasn't big enough last night. The squirrels are out frolicking. The crows came over, although it's not foggy this morning, so it wasn't as creepy as it was yesterday. And the uh, the damn screech owl alarm clock went off again. So, you know, there you go. That's what's going on. We're going to uh, we're going to head out into the bush and do a northern part of the loop, which. You guys won't know what it is, but you'll know it once we uh, open it up. Or you can come and volunteer and help out, because I don't harp on that enough. Alright, so we're making our way on the northern part. You see we've got flags along there, but this is kind of what we're looking for. This is the older flags. And these flags have been out here for years. But sometimes, you know... What we're looking at is just something like this. Just a tiny little faded piece of flag. And that's all we have to mark the trail. And sometimes it's on the ground. You know, this thing is pretty much dead. It'll probably blow over at some point. So that's just what we're doing. Rolling through the woods, following the GPS track and the trail of old flags to mark where the new one goes. Local wildlife eating out of the dumpster. 
All right, so it's Sunday morning. Apparently the time changed. Is that turkeys? So we just came walking down the river. Check it out. Um, XC City saw otters yesterday. So, I wanna check that out before we get rolling this morning. So it looks like there's a bald eagle down there. I'm flying off. Excuse the spot on the lens, because apparently that little black spot's on the inside of the camera. That's very cool. It was beautiful this morning. This section we're working on comes right down by the current river. This is a path created by animals, in particular, I believe horses. There's a herd of wild horses that come around these parts. According to the National Park guy, they actually come right through Round Spring. This is a, a horse trail right here. We're scouting the back side of this hill, trying to determine if that's a better route or not. This is awesome. Well, this Monday morning, last day out on the trail, hoping to get more work done today and uh, get ready for the next outing. But uh, all the animals are waking up. There's lots of woodpeckers, lots of crows. They just had uh, some breakfast down here by the river. Just watching that sunrise. It's quite pretty. This is definitely a uh, fantastic place. I really like coming down here. So if you want to film a Jeep commercial, you have to get a tripod for your camera. This is a large tripod for our wonderful Jeep commercial. Well guys, you can hear the crows are out in force. They already tried to steal XC's Pop-Tart out of the back of the Jeep. It's been a wild and crazy week, I guess, almost. Was it five days, four nights? Down here at Round Spring, and it's been fantastic. We got a lot of mileage marked. We got a lot of trail designed, ready for building. You know, I always say keep an eye out on the events page for upcoming events, you know, to come out and help out the OT. And if you want to come and uh, hike on this section before it's available for everybody else, then come volunteer. We're going to try to get down here and uh, do a lot of work. We've got a lot, of, a lot of megas this year, I think, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And that trail is fantastic. There's going to be... Um, some places that look like they'll have some pretty cool waterfalls in the uh in the wetter seasons but other than that we're all we're all packed up xc uh had an improvise on his tent using trekking poles 
Okay, see his, uh, he misplaced his poles for his tent. But, you know, being a through hiker, he knows how to improvise and deal with uh, a tarp shelter. There's the crows already over by the fire. Trying to pick up what last little bits they can find. So anyway, definitely come out here. Round Spring is really cool. It's right on the river. Lots of fun stuff to see. And, um, you know, just, just get outside and do some stuff. This is a great time of year. I mean, it's beginning of November and it was, you know, in the upper 70s all weekend. So it's, it's weird and fantastic. So just remember that life's an adventure. So go out and have one.